Hi guys, Dave Wilson here again in very sunny England and today we're going to do a transformation I'm going to restore a really tatty antique so come with me this is an antique sterling silver hinged bandle it's about 80 years old and as you can see it's very black and tarnished on the inside one side has this lovely embossed floral pattern again very tarnished but some lovely detail here you can see a small cartouche engraved with love so that will need to be sanded and polished off later the other half of the bandle is smooth and this has also been engraved from Billy to my dear wife Lillian with love 27 12 41 so again this will need to be sanded off and repolished it's always sad to do this I wish it could talk and tell us its story but no one wants a bracelet with someone else's nail on it so it's got to go luckily the hinges sound and works fine uh, and on the inside you can see the hinges in good condition too small lion stamp here so I mustn't polish that away it fastens with a box clasp and that seems to work very well as well with a nice solid click so it just needs cleaning note too there's a lion stamp here also there are two little holes here and these are probably where a safety chain was attached so I'll replace that later another lion stamp here and on the inside we've got a lion stamp and a date letter P for 1939 and just above it we have the makers mark and full assay marks we've got anchor for Birmingham the makers mark EJ Cluley and Co of Vice Street Birmingham and it's essential that I retain these hallmarks and stamps but the first thing to do is to give it a good clean so I can see if there's any dents or scratches for this I'm just going to pop it in the magnetic polisher here we go it's had 90 minutes in the polymag I'm not trying to polish it yet I just want to be able to see it and see the surface better we can see the engraving on the front here and on the back there the engraving's not too deep it's almost scratched in so it should polish out very easily the inside is pretty good just a few little scratches here which I will polish out so let's get started I'm using a 600 grit sanding drum and I'm sanding the engraving off note this is a curved surface but as always I'm going over the whole area keeping it level and even I'm looking for a matte surface finish with no flaws just a few minutes and there we are all gone same on the front sanding the cartouche here I'm just using the tip of the sanding drum and being careful not to sand any way of the surrounding detail and there we go that's gone too there's a couple of deep scratches on the inside so again just angling the sanding drum inside and going all the way across to avoid making any indentations in the middle and of course being careful of those hallmarks the next step is to smooth the surface ready for polish I'm using a silicone wheel here because I don't want to over polish the detail around it and now for a finer wheel to pre polish it same on the inside just a little prep using the silicone wheel to avoid the hallmarks so there's less buffing later on I'm just going over the large section here quickly this can be buffed on the bench polisher in a moment so I'm not too particular about this yet a herd felt wheel and some Menzona blue polish give a quick shine on the cartouche again to avoid over polishing it later on the bench polisher and the little polish on the inside again carefully avoiding the hallmarks so that's all the tricky parts done this big outer section can all be done on the bench polisher very quickly and easily here at the bench polisher I've got a loose cotton mop and Manzerna blue intensive polish or alternatively you could use Tripoli now here's a tip for you I only apply my polish to one side of the polishing wheel and as I polish I move from right to left and the piece is polished buffed and then cleaned off on the soft part so when I look I can instantly see the result keep moving around the piece different directions polishing the edges until it looks nice and clear here I've got a smaller two inch mop again with the blue Menzerna polish 
this will allow me to get inside the bandle and give it a little buffing just to blend everything in not too much because I've got to remember those hallmarks I could also do this with the flex shaft but this on the bench polisher is a lot quicker when I'm happy with everything ultrasonic clean it to remove all the polish and this is the real secret to a great finish it's absolutely vital to remove all the previous polish before moving on to the next stage polish so next a soft unstitched cotton mop with some Menzerna yellow super finish or you could use rouge just a very light buff over the whole piece just to shine it up same again with a smaller mop on the inside with the yellow super finish finally a nice new very soft mop in the flex shaft and a final buffing all over just for that extra special perfect mirror finish because it's a large piece hello again a dip in the ultrasonic cleaner and then a final wipe over with a polishing cloth there you just can't get better than that hello so everything is nice and shiny now but I do want to bring back the detail on this decoration on the front this is very simple with liver of sulfur gel just paint it onto the areas that I want to blacken and you can see it starts to work instantly darkening the silver it only takes a couple of minutes and uh, you can see now how it's gone dark you can reapply it if you want to get the colour darker once you're happy with it give it a good wash under running water it's important that I don't put it in the ultrasonic this time because the whole thing would just turn black so here we go this is the oxidized result and I'm now going to use a very very fine silicone wheel this has got pumice in it this is stiff so it will only hit the high spots and leave the tarnish in the low spots and in the corners so just lightly and there we go it's very subtle just to light dark and into highlight the details of course I can always do it again if I want more contrast the last job is to make the safety chain all I need is an old necklace a little bit of chain and some thin wire I'm using some stepped pliers here and wind just a couple of turns and then snip them off with some flush cutters thread them through the end of the chain and attach to the bracelet in my case I give them a quick blast with my welder but that's not entirely necessary a little top tip here because the bracelet is all squeaky clean just rub a little bit of wax on the box clasp I'm using Pepe lube here but beeswax candle wax will work just a little touch and rub it in with warm fingers it just helps to stop the clasp from sticking and there we have it all back to its former glory and ready for its new home you'd never believe it was over 80 years old would you perhaps it might even get someone else's names engraved on it who knows I've been Dave Wilson, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon on the next video. Bye for now.